Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. Back again over at Fort Hagen. I guess uh, for you guys I haven't moved, but off screen I did go back to Valenti Station and did some stuff around there. And uh, yes, yes indeed, I did craft my final, probably my final endgame armor, the T60 set. It is beautiful. Gaze upon it in all its glory. And uh, that's what we're going to be taking down into the Glowing Sea. And I'm going to be doing a couple other things before we go down there, but uh, we should get there today. So, it is uh, quite impressive how much damage resist and energy resist I have now, as well as rad resist. So, uh, yeah, we're in uh, very good shape. I'm all, uh, all chemmed up. Well, at least not everything, but I have the main stuff going because I have my missile launcher as many missiles as I can carry, which was uh, seven, I think, yeah. So, oh yeah, before I go from here too. Let's see here. I dumped some stuff into here. And I'm going to dump some more stuff into here. I crafted some dirty wastelanders just because I think the carry weight might be nice to have for uh, down here. Brought really just, oh, I forgot to... I to drop those off before I left. I bought those unopened box meals from uh, Siampa. Because they often contain sandy uh, increasing stuff. But um, I'm going to drop everything, literally everything that's not going to be used while I'm down there. And that includes some ingredients. Yeah, the blood packs here. I looted these from the uh, Greater Mass Blood Clinic before I started recording today. Those will be handy for making uh, glowing blood packs, which are a nice alternative healing item. They, I mean, you can only heal so fast with stim packs and other stuff, so having multiple healing effects going at once is the best option. So now I'm at, uh, okay, we got a couple pounds of carry weight. I'm going to go to the Boston Marrow Shelter first over here. I think it's over here. It, it, this might not be the Boston Marrow Shelter, but I'm going to try to find it if I can. I thought it was... Yeah, this is it. This is the Marrow Shelter. Mayoral Shelter. I have trouble saying it. But, uh... There's a magazine in here. Apparently you can get purified water here still, too. Maybe not, though. Maybe they removed it. I believe that was the last place. I think, like, I, I recall Nogram saying it was, like, okay, he was okay with this having purified water, maybe, because it was kind of out in the middle of nowhere, and it kind of made sense that it would have purified water still. No way. This requires a key. Um, oh, right. The key for this is... Oh, I can't even go in because I don't have a key, and the key is over at... Uh, West Everett Estates, right? And that's like up over here somewhere, isn't it? Or is it up here? It's like in this area? I mean, I forget. I didn't explore this area as well as I should have, and uh, so I don't have the key for it. Well, okay, I guess we won't go here then because I don't have the key for it. I kind of forgot about that. Unless you can do it here. Does this open up the door? Never mind. I'm, I'm a dumb dumb. I don't need the key. Okay. You just use a terminal and unlock it. Duh. Okay. I I thought you needed uh, to get a key from somewhere. What, what am I thinking of then? I don't know. It's been a while. So yeah, there should be a couple of scary turrets in here. Otherwise, though, nothing too crazy. I am very well stocked on ammo for both the uh, laser rifle and the plasma rifle. I did also go ahead and modify my laser rifle back to its regular long improved barrel and other mods as well. <laughs> Just because I wasn't really planning on doing any sniping here, if anything I want to have a faster fire rate, higher DPS weapon for a close range. Now, uh, all the stuff in here... Oh yeah, I want to check this. Oh, I don't have any cups. Okay, let me find... Uh, 
Let me find a bottle and fill it there and see if I get purified water to see if it's still... It's still busted or not. Eh, we'll find some downstairs, I'm sure. There are more turrets around, though. I gotta be kind of careful. There should be a Deathclaw spawn down here, which will be nice for a bit of experience. Um, I did get one level up when I was back, um, home. That's probably a turret that's giving me that. Right, we're gonna need the key over here, the maintenance key, or this is the wrong area? Do we just go up through here instead? These turrets, like the ones in, uh, if they're laser turrets anyway, like the ones in, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, place where we just went, Fort Hagen. If they are laser turrets, um, they're very, very dangerous. They do a lot of damage. So I do want to be a bit careful with that. Oh, there's some good stuff in here. There's a bottle. Ugh. Ah! Oh man, it's a sneeze day today, I guess. Sorry about that. Exo does not last very long. I hope that my supplies of Psycho Buff were out. I should have got some more when I was back there at the... Plenty Station, but I kind of forgot about it. Oh, I'm, I'm so stupid. There we go. I totally forgot. They have the mod. <laughs> I'm trying to hack it like normal. Try to hack it like normal, and uh, I don't. There's no need. There's like there's there's no extra tries and stuff because there's like no reason to actually uh, ever do that. Oh, that XL was too much, huh? Uh, let me see. I can do some deer meat here after I get some regular food, bourbon, and uh, doesn't matter too much, I guess, what I eat. Okay, and, um, there we go. Radix. Mmm, right away. And ammo, okay. I'll do, uh, deer meat if I need to later on as well. The main benefit of getting the purified water is not so much that it's purified, it's more that uh, your bottle your bottle usage is more efficient. You know, you get one purified water per one bottle if it still works like that, which is nice. Oh, the, the safe key. Well, that's not it though. Isn't there another key you get from West Everett Estates? Let me know what it is in the comments if you know, because I'm... I'm curious now. Well, that's pretty much it in here, okay. This, uh, the story in here is very... It's very Frost, you know? You know what I mean? It's very Frost-like. Uh, because the mayor and his wife and family had this nice shelter built for them at the uh, taxpayer's expense. Even comments, I think he spared no expense in the place. Then uh, the angry mob busts open the place after the bombs dropped, which would be pretty accurate, probably. And I'm sure they. Sure, they killed everyone in here. Excellent. 
Maybe not the kid, but... I don't know. I have no idea what happened. Well, it was just a baby, I think, so I guess if uh, no one would have taken care of the baby... Would people be that cruel? I think they probably would. I was recommended to watch a movie, an old movie, uh, called Threads, which is kind of follows um, the, I think it's the 80s, in the 80s or the 70s maybe, I think it was like late 70s, maybe early 80s, um, follows the story of like a couple of families and some government workers as they deal with a nuclear apocalypse. Basically, Russia escalates uh, tensions and with the U.S. and they exchange nuclear arms. And in the process, because the U.K. hosts several um, military bases, IMDM. I don't know if that means Dungeon Master or, like, abbreviation for DM. I don't know what it means. Anyway, um, right, Threads, the movie Threads, it was, uh, it was really interesting, uh, because it, it doesn't, doesn't shy away from the more awful parts of what would it, what it would really be like in a, uh, nuclear war, the reality of what it would be like for the people that lived in the area afterwards, and I mean, people did go through this stuff, you know? Um, so, you know, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they certainly did go through this stuff. Yeah, sure, let's get in here and get the stuff. So, it's not like it's unprecedented. People did go through this crap, and it was, was really awful. I mean, just, after watching Chernobyl 2, uh, radiation poisoning is just, it's just the worst, man. Like, I'm not sure if there's anything that's worse than it. I mean, at the same, like, at the, as awful as what they did was, I, I can kind of sympathize with them a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, I want to see, is this filled with, with purified water? Nope, it's dirty. It's been fixed, fellas. No more purified water here. And if that's the case, I don't really want to have that around. It's going to be too heavy. There are other ones here I could try too, I guess, but I don't think it would matter too much. Okay, right, so, uh, Mr. Deathclaw. It didn't last too long. My caps are going away. Got a nice shot on his belly there. How much damage what am I doing with this thing? Yeah, it's pretty high. It's not that high. I don't have adrenaline going. It'd be a lot higher if I had that going. I could use the fat man, I suppose. I think there's a main nuke in here somewhere. Okay, well that's taken care of. I honestly debate even bringing the missile launcher to the glowing sea because it doesn't matter that much. I'm going to be able to take care of stuff without it. Oh. That's right, we get ghouls now. Because, uh, since spawn in. Alright, so did, did I get the magazine? I was supposed to get a magazine in here. That was the whole reason for coming, and I'm pretty sure I didn't see it. Pretty sure I missed it. Or maybe I just didn't realize. Like, I 
I just pick them up mindlessly, guys. Like, I don't- I don't notice things. I- I don't know. Did I pick up a magazine here? I could, like, look it up on the wiki, I guess, if I wanted to, but... It's supposed to add- oh, it's supposed to add regeneration, though. Which is pretty good. I don't know which one of these is correct. Which one of them is the, uh... The one that gives you that? I don't know. If it's- if it's one of those or not. Um... Any way to check my perks here? Let me look at the- uh, it would be a medical knowledge one, right? Okay, so it'd be a Massachusetts Medical Journal. Just more limb damage for that. Yeah, I don't know if I got it or not. Probably missed it. Somebody's probably real mad right now in the comments. But it's it's not really gonna matter too much. Doubt it's in here. I'm gonna check back through the um, other area. Probably walked right by it several times and didn't see it. <laughs> Being so wasteful, using plasma on these guys. But I don't care too much anymore. I mean, I should actually, because I can't get more, really. Um, what I have is pretty much what I what I have for the rest of the game. Right, you can go back through here. It goes back to the base or the basketball court area, but I don't think there's anything in here that's useful. Seems odd that you can just open it like that. Doesn't seem to matter too much. See, so yeah, if there was a magazine, I think it'd be bad. I, I probably already got it, guys. I probably already picked it up, and I just didn't realize it. Oh, wait, back here, maybe. There's a main nuke, I guess, if you wanted to use that on the Death Claw. A fusion core that I probably can't I probably can't carry it. Uh do I want to bother trying to carry it? I don't think I really do. Either that or uh, a missile. Can I do with one less missile? Probably. Rather have the core just in case I need it for whatever reason. Doubt I will though. Okay, I'm gonna check in here real quick as well. I can probably jump up through here, huh? With the jetpack.
No, not quite. Well, never mind. I, I got a ledge somehow. Let me out. Maybe this is a secret. Oh, no. We're just going to end up uh, having issues with psychedelic stuff in the cell here. Nope, we can't go any higher. I'll try one more time, just I'm really curious. Nah, nah, it's definitely gonna be outside the boundaries of the cell. That's pretty cool, though. The big chunk of Deathclaw meat. Alright, let's head out of here. I don't want to be in here forever. We want to get to, at least get to the Glowing Sea if we don't explore it. Well, we're not gonna have time to explore it fully today. It'll, it'll take several days to do it. Actually, what time is it? That's noon. I'll get down there um, in time, but I don't know if I'll go in before I sleep. Might want to get some Z's before we go down there. Because I don't really fancy being down there at night. Not going to be a fun time. The weather was at least nice, though. Temporarily. I'm going to get one more bottle. Okay, and that bottle is too much, I guess. Get one more bottle, and I want to check to see this uh, other... This last other, um... Water fountain up here. Just to see what it does. Nah, it's all dirty. Okay. Well, good to know. Alright, I think that's it, guys. I don't think there's anything else here. It's. I looked as well as I am willing to look. If I missed it, I'm sorry. If I got it and I looked around needlessly because I forgot I got it, then I'm sorry. I can definitely tell you that I won't need it. I already have uh, solar powered and the other uh, regen perk maxed out. Ooh, a stealth boy. I don't really have room for that, though. I already have one or two of those on me, I think, anyway. So, yeah, it won't make much difference. Uh, I mean, the regen's kind of nice, but, like, can't see it being a problem. This is still a nice day out. All right, so we're gonna head south. Um, I'm just gonna beeline it down south, guys. We'll see if we can get down to at least installation K21B today. If I possibly can. Pretty sure the Nuka World area is further up north. What is this, a ghoul party down here? Was I not invited? I don't see any... I don't see any, uh... areas here that are, like, unexplored on my compass, so... That is, uh... Poseidon Power, I think? Yeah. I think the Nuka World train entrance is, like, up north further by, uh... Oh... Rest in peace, Bear. Rest in peace. They sent him to the moon. He just evaporated completely. I didn't want to meet anyway. Uh, it's up by, uh... Sunshine Tidings, I think. Alright, here's the motel. With a nice bed. I could sleep here. 
I suppose. Eh, we'll just we'll just go through. I got all the chems going and everything. I can run for ages. We got two cores. Got the best armor in the game. I got a bright headlamp. It'll be all right. I'm just gonna run. Did I leave stuff in here by chance? No, I thought maybe I did. Okay, well, it's nice right now. Let's hope that uh, this holds out for a while. This nice weather holds out for a while. Okay, good. I wanted to make sure I had a grenade bound. Oh, hey, it's power armor. And it is uh, T-45. Yeah, the, the only place I have seen... I don't even want your meat, I don't think. You can keep your meat. The only place I've seen... Uh, we're gonna get Black Rain, aren't we? Yeah, we are. The only place I've seen the T-60 is at uh, Fort Hagen. And that might be a guaranteed spawn there. And that might be the only... I mean, I've heard other people say they've gotten in other places, so... Maybe you can get lucky, but... I certainly didn't. Right, so we've got the, um... The outpost over here. The stockpile or whatever. Already explored that, so no need to go there. Up here, I think this is the abandoned shack. And I think this is where we're going to use our key that we got off of, um... It was either Troy Bishop or Isker's body, one of the two. See the landmark I see around here? Whoa! You damn dirty rats. Scaring away my deer. Oh, he's all the way over there now, whatever. Oh no, my my drugs. I gotta find Death Claws and shoot them. That's right. That's right, Nate. Ew. It's the, uh, special music you get down here. It sounds like flies buzzing in your ear. Yep. This be the place. Evacuation plan. Let's see, evacuation plan. Here we go. Hello, government employee. With the threat of communist Chinese invasion increasing daily, you may find yourself thinking of what to do in case of total atomic annihilation. Fear not, as a federal government worker, you have the privilege of being locked away, safe and sound in the very place you work every day. Just follow these simple instructions if and when the bombs fall, and you'll find yourself surrounded by your fellow employees waiting out the nuclear winter. 1. When you hear the alarms, drop everything. Do not bother packing anything, even personal belongings. Everything you need should be waiting for you in your designated safety location slash workplace. 2. Head to your designated workplace, K21B. 3. Once inside, should radiation reach problem levels and alarm will sound, promptly close the doors and lock them. Do not open again until a sound warning bell, a second warning bell sounds. Godspeed, good luck, and enjoy your better future underground. Supervisor signature. Okay, gonna be some pretty tough army remnants here. There might be some T-60 down here too. Maybe some, maybe actually some X-01. Oh, there's X-01 here. Wait, why am I suddenly... Did something wear off? Maybe my beer wore off? There we go. This is 
government employee number zero one one. Uh, screw this government bullshit. This is Bezensky. The sirens, they, they came so fast. And the alarm. The only ones we could save were on duty. Stevens had left to get something out of his car. Stevens, he's gone. We had to close the door before he could even turn around. Protocol said we had to. I could, I could hear him screaming. That was days ago. We're already running out of food. This place was not as well stocked as they claimed. Goddamn budget cuts. If anyone is listening to this, my name is Jeff Bozinski. Tell my wife, Wilma, that I love her. Goodbye. Not as well stocked, eh? I think I saw a minigun on that guy. Was hoping it was a Gatling laser based on his stance. How he was holding his weapon, but no, I think it was just a minigun. I don't think Gatling laser's been buffed yet. I did update to the newest version of uh, Frost Plus. Uncleave Scientist A. Tempting to just shoot the Enclave Scientist too to make sure that I don't like get shot. To make sure I'm, I'm alone here. But yeah, uh, Sandy lost. Don't we want to deal with that? Yeah, you had uh, no, you had you had Napalmer. You had T60 though. Yeah, nice. And isn't there a set like? Uh, yeah, but just T45. This is where I found a full set of X01, I think, in the last Frost version, I want to say. But it might just be random what spawns here, too. Good, we got some buff tats. Need more of those. Alright, um, I need to get in the terminal here. Ugh, more beer. Wait, where's the terminal? Here it is. This is a bit weird. Um, you have to do initiate system reboot. Okay. Reactivate elevators. Okay, Field Ops Log, Major Arthur Gannon. I'm making good progress in narrowing down the final resting place of the FMS Columbia. Intelligence Officer Bozenski tells me that the information I need is likely accessible at the Coast Guard HQ east of here. From there, we can continue on to the ship itself. Recon Squad Delta Epsilon already dispatched with Fire Squad Victor Zulu on standby for the final assault. We're so close. Repair Log, Chief Engineer Nicholas Gibbs. This place was a total mess when we first got here. Only one man actually survived down here after the bombs dropped. He was a total mess, too. Looked ready to put a bullet in his skull before we took his gun. But he's all right now, and we're, now all, we're slowly putting things back together and plugging in terminals and all that. It'll be a while before we can get this place back up and running, and even longer before we can update it with modern tech, but it'll be worth it. This is a great spot for radiation research. I should just kill the whole lot of you, you damn, you damn Enclave scientists, but you're a sanity, sanity lost, you're not ver worth very much, uh, so... See ya. I got what I needed, which is knowing where to find a location of the FMS Columbia, which is over at, uh, 
the um, the Coast Guard place, which is over here, which I could see, by the way. I just, I don't know why I couldn't see it when I was talking about it an episode or two ago, or maybe it was three episodes ago. I don't know. I don't know why I couldn't see it there. My sometimes, sometimes when you're recording, man, I swear to God, it's like a minus 20 to perception. Your perception skill goes in the negative. You don't believe me, try it sometime. Try try recording and uh, doing live commentary at the same time. It's harder than it looks, I swear. Teaching core up there, which I probably don't have room for. I really would like to see some death claws so I could... Uh, oh, my depth of field is on. I really would like some, some death claws so I can pop them with some uh, missiles. I don't even want the money. I don't even care. I'm not even gonna look at them anymore. We're not gonna loot anything at all. I care so little about it. Oh, sorry. My head really, really itched there for some reason. I don't know if you could hear me scratching, but I was. Oh, we got a cool friend! Get him, ghoul friend. Kick his ass. Yeah, kick his ass. I think our cool friend's dying. Wait. I- oops. You all look the same. I- I killed the wrong one, sorry. That doesn't look like it's really very important in there. So yeah, there's a fusion core up here. Um, I suppose you could get it. Need it. It's actually really good to know because... So, there's a start. If I ever do another Frost playthrough, I'm definitely doing the Glowing Sea Star. I think it's a really cool start. Like, it makes really good sense, canonically. That you might start here. Looks so weird with the mushrooms, I'm not gonna lie. It's a bit strange, actually. Oh, there's my furnace going. Well, guys, um, we're already at, like, 40 minutes, so I'm probably gonna end the episode here. Uh, but we will continue exploring more of the glowing sea in the next one. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.